Hey guys, this is Machibi Maxon here and in this video, I'm going to be showing you running Cinebench on my server and it's going to take under 6, 36 minutes. Dang it. I'm so excited I can't even pronounce 36 seconds. Yeah, I just did it. Yay. So, in my previous video where I showed you how to make a bootable Ubuntu pen drive uh, on Mac OS X Yosemite, Oh, and we pretty much any Mac OS you have can make a bootable Ubuntu pen drive. I told you I bought a server for some project, so I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you running Cinebench on it. So my server probably has a poor graphics card to none. It has a, a an ATI that has 16 megabytes, so it probably can't make a screen recording. So I decided to just use remote desktop, connect to it, and use my Mac to to remote control it and show you the benchmark so I'm just gonna open up Microsoft remote desktop I already set up my IBM server here so I'm just gonna double click so that it can just simply connect I'm just gonna click continue and it's just it has just logged me in and to show you that this is currently my Mac I'm just gonna do this yes okay let me just do this so that I can bring this here yes that wasn't necessary but I just wanted to prove to you that we are still on the same Mac I just have re remotely connected to the server so let's just get straight down to what we came for so I'm just gonna open Cinebench I already downloaded it and I've run it before multiple times so open up your timers guys cause you're gonna see magic and right now I'm just gonna start Cinebench and I'm gonna tell you when I started so that you can start your timers and see that it only took 36 seconds so one by the time I hit by the time I hit three okay let me count from three to one by the time I hit one I'm gonna press the run button three two one and I just started the benchmark and it's loading the benchmark and yeah it's happening guys it's happening uh, it's happening I don't know why the score is not stable in Cinebench so it can't score the same score every single time it changes it either increases by one decreases that kind of things Okay, let's just wait for it and bam we're done and it scored 1272 but I've seen it score 1275 so that's the highest score I've seen it score and as you can see here it's nearly <laughs> it's nearly in the level of the Intel Xeon X5650 it's a 12 core processor with uh, with hyper threading so that's 24 threads and mine has 24 cores and 24 threads but mine has four processors it has the Xeons okay let me just show you here properties I make this bigger so as you can see mine has the Xeon L7455 at 2.13 gigahertz four processors so it's a four processor uh, it's a four processor server configuration configuration and it has 128 installed gigabytes of memory so and it's running server 2012 2008 r2 so I think I'm gonna end this video right here guys so I'm gonna probably thank you guys for watching guys for watching and check out my other videos subscribe to my channel if the video was interesting hit that like button and I'll see you guys in the next video.